Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So today we got to talk about Kenyon Martin and the discussion he was having on Gilbert Arena's podcast. And they spoke about his son, K.J. Martin, being included in the James Harden trade where uh, James Harden has come over, rejoined Russell Westbrook. You got all the boys from California together, you know, Russ, Harden, Kawhi, and Paul George. And he, he was very emotional about it because I think, you know, Kenyon, if he's still living where he was living, he has that Calabasas home, which is only about 30 minutes from Los Angeles. So K.J. Martin was, ever, was able to swing by, you know, and go check out his mother, his father, and just be real close by with his family. But um, he spoke about this part of the NBA that a lot of people don't think about. Let's check it out. How hard is it, though, as a father? Like you said, K.J. back home, you got him close by you're able to pull up, you know, the games and really be able to support him. How hard is it as a father to see your son traded? Oh, no, it's, it, no, it's you, because I never dealt with it as a player, for one. Besides, it was, it was about the money, but not three games into the season or not, you know what I'm saying, no shit like this. No, but it's, after to wake your wife up and tell her this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, having to break this news to the little ones, they're excited when KJ come by. So it's, it's that that people don't understand, you know what I'm saying? So it's hard to put into words without being emotional about it. Yeah. No, but no, nah, it's, that's a good thing, man. That's really a good thing. And I'm... I'm excited for him, man. Yeah, no, nah, man, we, no. Nah. That's the thing, we, you know, we talk about these trades and things that go on the league, but you don't think about the impact that it has on players, families, yeah. whatever it may be. So, you know, I know you appreciate the time that you got oh, to yeah. be on the Clippers. Oh, and man, I'm I'm excited for him, man. It's just, they say having to break that news to the little ones. Like, well, hey, there's a, there's like a bright light, that boy. It's a bright light for him, though. It's a bright light for KJ, you know? Yeah, when you have little children that's looking forward to their big brother, big cousin, whatever, you know, in any situation, and they're close, real tight-knit, and they look up to them, super role model, something they aspire to be when they grow up, and then that's just moved across the country, that can really send them into a dark place, you know, um, at least momentarily, not saying for the rest of their life, but that really feels... I ain't going to say it feels like somebody passed away, but when you're used to seeing somebody at that age, if he's talking about like five, six-year-olds that be seeing them every other day or, you know, a couple times a week, and now you may see them once every five, six months, that could be devastating to a small child, you know. Um, but that comes with the territory in the NBA, and Kenyon knows better than anybody, you know. Kenyon played with the Nets. He played in Denver. You know what I'm saying? So, Kenyon, Kenyon's been with a few teams. Uh, did he go to New York with Melo? I cannot remember 100% if he was included in that deal. But Kenyon's been on a few teams. And Kenyon, um, he, he understands it. But by all accounts and everything that he said in the media, you could tell he's passionate uh, about being a father. And he's real close with his son. I remember him and Shaq had that awkward moment during NBA All-Star Weekend when Shaq didn't pick his son to win the dunk contest, you know. So um, I definitely understand where Kenyon's coming from and why he's that emotional. I wish more fathers were that close with their son where it feels that type of way. Even though they're making, you know, a lot of money over there, he, he, um, he cherishes the relationship, you can tell. Um, a father and son and i salute him on that but i want to know what you guys think in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe to next time peace